Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is just a quick little video to uh, explain something. I had I had a, a subscriber ask a question, and I like to help people out just as quick as I can. So let me go over here to this shot here, and it was the uh, question was on the uh, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, and the question was. Uh, how do I update to the newer version of VPX on Emporium? Tried to get this table to work, but it requires the most recent version of VPX. <coughs> okay, I did upgrade my uh, VPX in Pinball Emporium to 10.7. It was 10.6. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Now, I didn't realize that uh, either I'd put some tables out there to talk about and put the media out for that uh, were, had to have 10.7 and uh, if they did have to have 10.7 and, and you didn't have it I wouldn't have caught it because I've been running 10.7 and I never did explain to anybody how I did that so without saying any more let me do that and I'm gonna go here I went to uh, the uh, VP forms and I just did a search and I'll try to put a, uh, I'll take and put a copy of this uh, in the description of this video, a copy of this link. But in this particular thread, you'll see there is a link here to download VPX Beta RC Zip. Anyway, I downloaded that. So, uh, with that being downloaded, let me close this down. And this is what I down I downloaded it twice, just to make sure it was right. And what you'll see is I, I'm just going to open the archive here. Let me let me bring this up bigger so you can see it. I always hate it when it, it's hard to see. And if you're watching this on a phone, it might be. But uh, let's open this up and see what comes in it. Um, I'm just going to open the archive. I'm not going to extract it. And you open the archive, and you can see it. It comes with all this stuff that if you're going to do a fresh install of it, but all you, you don't need all this. All you need is this file here, this pinball v pinball x e x e. That's the only file you need. Let me blow this up bigger. And so hopefully you can see that of all this stuff on here, this is all you need. This is what I did. So. What you do is you, you uh, let me bring this back down. Well, I can close this. So what you're going to do is extract this. Extract this somewhere safe, um, you know, so it doesn't get all over the place. Don't extract it in Pinball Emporium yet, because I'm going to tell you why here in a minute. Just move it somewhere and extract it. And you can get rid of everything except that executable. Now, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you what I did over here. I took and I'll tell you how to get to this again my pinball emporium is under the root of C on mine so I went to C pinball emporium go to emulators go to visual pinball and you'll see all these other areas that we've worked in here before this uh, basically the tables folder but down here you'll see V pinball X exe. Now there's some other exes in here. V pinball X. Well, I'll explain that in the middle of the minute. That's the back. There's V pinball 995. There's V pinball 921 exe. There's this V pinball 99 physics 5 update exe. I didn't mess with any of those, and I'll be honest with you, uh, I'm learning as I go along too. I don't know what those do. I didn't mess with them. <coughs> All I did was take this V Pinball X EXE that came <coughs> one just named just like it comes in that executable, but I did not want to override it on here. So what I did was I took that and renamed it by adding a what is it a hyphen or a line back B A K. So that is the one that, so I, I took that and that's the one that was there. If you find this one here, just click on it 
to where it just highlights the name and rename it V Pinball X back dot exe. That way that file doesn't go away if this is a problem by doing this. Then what I did was now it won't overwrite it. Then I took and drug that file, the V Pinball X exe that I got from that zip file, into this folder. And again I'll repeat C Pinball Emporium Emulators Visual Pinball and there it is V Pinball EXE. Now just to show you just to show you this so you'll know and I hope you'll be able to see this on your screen I'm gonna run the executable the back it won't hurt to do it that's gonna wanna open some tables and I wanna tell it no I'm just gonna click that down and I'll go up here to help and hit about and I don't know if you can see that because it's pretty small here and it's probably the way it comes through YouTube and everything it'll be horrible but you can see this V pinball back when I execute it says right here in this box and again I don't know if you can see this along here it's hard for me to see on my monitor that I'm monitoring what I'm doing but on my screen I can see it says VP 10.6.0 okay now I close that now that's the back then I hit the executable the one the new one we got oh, and it brought it up on another screen of mine hang on and see it brought up this screen I just close that out and hit help and hit about and then in here this one says version 10.7 10.7 I pointed the wrong place before that's the change log this is version 10.7 let me go back I'm gonna hit OK and close it and let me do that again for you and some of you may say why are you doing this over and over because I know what it's like when I watch these guys videos and I miss something I have to keep rewinding so I'm just wanna double check here and make sure I'm telling you right this is the backup file. This is the one I had before. See, it's wanting to open tables. I just close it. I'll hit help and about. And up here, yeah, up here near the top, it says version 10.6.0 final revision. And that's 10.6. Disregard what I said about down here. That says 10.6 on both. That's just the change log. It's some information they put on there. But this version is 10.6.0. Hit OK. Close it. Now that was the one that I changed the name to. So if something goes wrong, all you have to do is delete the new one you put in and change this one back to the original name. Take the, B, the hyphen BAK out of there. Because I have heard... I haven't found any yet, but I've got 300 and some tables and I haven't played them all. I have heard and read that some of the some of your old tables might not work. And if that's the case, you just go back and change this to back and, you know, you change these back and forth. But so far it hadn't been a problem. So, again, the back file. And again, this is a pain in this cloak, but if I help and about, this is version 10.6. The other one's 10.7. So. I know I, I took a little longer to explain that than I probably needed to. Let me get back up here. If I'm going to do a video, you got to look at me, I guess. Here it is. Okay. I hope that helps. So, uh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll do you one better. Let's uh, let's do this. Now you can see my play field and my back glass. Now I've got the volume turned down. Uh, so you won't be able to hear the table play, I don't think. I don't know, maybe you will. But uh, let's open up Visual Pin. See, you can run these from here. Uh, what was that one? What was the one in question? It was uh, Simpson. Uh, yeah, Simpson's Treehouse of Horror. Now see, when you, uh, I'll show you that again. You can open 
visual pinball from here you don't have to do it from the front end of course you're not going to have the front end but if you want to test it out just open visual pinball from there and you have to do it inside the pinball emporium folder don't do it with that one you put somewhere else I mean you're going to move it into here if that makes any sense at all it's got to be in here where the folders where the file folders are and everything but let's see let's go to Simpsons uh, Treehouse yeah it was called Simpsons the table was called Simpsons pinball party no that's a different version <laughs> Okay. I'm not going to edit this video. Let me see what I came up with. That is Simpsons Pinball Party. Let's see. Elemen OP Simpsons. Okay. Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Yeah, there you go. So, the table's working. And evidently, well, I'll tell you what. Let's just do this for grins. While I'm here putting together a video, might as well do this. Let's hit cancel. Let's go over here and do a little experimenting. We'll do a little learning together. Now, remember, this is version... 10.7. Now I'm going to run the back one, which is 10.8. And let's open up. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Yeah, see? This table was saved with version 10.7 and is newer than the supported version 10.6. You might get problems. So now I can see why uh, my uh, person that sent the request asked the question. And it's still preparing the table. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's the problem. It'll run, but boy, it doesn't, doesn't look right. So and if you ever do this, you can just uh, escape back out of this. But anyway, there you go. And again, I'm doing this on a PC, not on your cabinet. So if you're doing it on the cabinet, you're going to have to have a keyboard hooked up to it. But long story short, <coughs> just go get the newest version of vpinballx.exe. And again, the way I found that, let me go back here. Uh, if I can get my maneuvering down here on my screens. There we go. Now, the way I do that again is I went to VP Forms and I downloaded this file here and what I ended up with was this zip folder <clears throat> and this zip folder had a whole bunch of stuff in it that uh, you don't need to copy over because that's just for somebody who's using wants to download it put it in a folder and just run it by itself but you already got this other stuff in your front end so all you need is this file right here I'm highlighting it now make this big V pinball exe. Get rid of all the other stuff. You don't need it. At least I didn't. So anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, let me get back here. And I'll say my goodbyes, but uh, I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll put the link to that V pin universe in there where you can go find that file and download it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I was being informative. I like to help whenever I can. Have a good one.